Wolfpack. I'm Jody Guerrero. And I'm Tristan Lloyd. Today is Friday, August 28th, and we're here with your morning announcements. The first anime club meeting will be today from 3.15 to 5 p.m. in the room HL6, Mrs. Wee's room. If you like anime or just want to check out the club, you are welcome to attend. The deadline date is approaching fast. Make sure to get your senior package forms and payments in by September 4th. Attention all student drivers, be sure to get your parking permits into the office by today. Are you interested in going on field trips and competing in challenging events? Having the chance to meet people from all over California and the nation, from peers to professionals that work at places like Google or represent us in the U.S. Congress? Then FBLA is the club for you. The first FBLA meeting is today in room HG2 from 3.30 to 4.30. Now let's hear what's in the news. Hey there, Wolfpack. I'm John Timmons. And I'm Savon Carter, and we're here with your In the News announcements. 71 Syrian refugees were found suffocated inside of a truck on the side of an Austrian highway. The victims consisted of 60 men, 8 women, and 3 children aged 2, 3, and 8. Austrian officials say they are most likely refugees fleeing war-ravaged Syria. This tragedy comes as Europe is struggling to deal with a record influx of migrants and refugees traveling by land and sea trying to escape conflicts in Africa and the Middle East. United Nations spokeswoman Melissa Fleming said that all countries in the European Union must aid countries being plagued by the problem of enormous amounts of refugees. However, Austrian Interior Minister Johanna Michiel Lietner believes that this crime should focus more attention on cracking down on people smugglers, saying that said smugglers don't care about the well-being of refugees, just the profit they make from agreeing to transport them. Recently, the United States and South Korea were involved in a military training exercise that occurs every three to five years. Because of some of the recent tension that has occurred between North and South Korea lately, many residents along the border of the demilitarized zone were evacuated and many others chose to leave, citing that they were feeling a lack of safety. However, watching this display of military force by their country, many residents moved back into their homes with many saying things like, after watching these performances, I don't feel anxious at all and North Korea can't defeat us. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Savon Carter. And I'm John Timmons. Back to you, Jody and Tristan. During lunch, place your unwanted and unopened food in the cafeteria's food sharing table, which is by the lunch line. If you are hungry, you may also take food items from the table. Only foods like milk, juice, fruits, vegetables, and unopened snacks are accepted. Food that is left at the end of the week will be donated to the Elk Grove Food Bank. So remember today at lunch, don't dump, donate. Freshmen, the tailgate will be on September 4th. Come out to the quad from 6 to 7.30 p.m. for some food and fun. Stocking bowling, tug-of-war, darts, life-size tic-tac-toe, steal the bacon. Come get pumped for our first home varsity football game. Come ready to tell your link leader if you want a burger, hot dog, or veggie burger. Also, if you have any announcements that you would like us to air on Wolfpack TV, please email Mr. Mason at egusd.net. Well, that seems to be all we have for you today. I'm Tristan Lloyd. And I'm Jody Guerrero. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. I, I hope, hope your, your day is as fabulous as, as you all are. are.